Hey guys, it's Kay Clementine, and welcome to Would You Rather, the age-old game. Uh, this game is actually pretty old, I think. Well, obviously not the, the computer game, but the telling game. Also, in other news, I got my braces off. See? See those clean teeth? Yeah, but now I've got a kind of a piece of plastic shoved up my gums 24-7. I'm not sure which one I prefer, actually, but you know. Anyway, back to the game. Would you rather be naked all the time... Or never leave your house or apartment. Well, <laughs> being naked all the time is a bit of an inconvenience. I don't know, you kind of can't really go outside because you'll be done for public indecency, I would think. So I'm going to go with never leave your house or apartment because people could just come to my house. Yeah, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine then, I see. But why be naked all the time? You couldn't go anywhere. You'd be done for public and Disney put in jail. And you wouldn't be able to buy anything either. Jesus. Would you rather live in... Would you rather... <laughs> Tokyo or Hong Kong? Um, I don't... I don't really care. They both sound amazing. I'm just gonna go with Tokyo because uh, I know more about it. Whoa, that's a big difference. I didn't think that. I don't really... I don't really care. Anywhere in Asia is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, this is a hard one. Would you rather eat Nutella or eat bacon? Now, don't get mad, but I don't really like Nutella that much. I know. <gasps> Shock horror. How could she? I'm not much of a Nutella fan. I don't know what the hype is about. So I'm going to go with eating bacon. Yeah, see, Nutella's not even that great. If you had superpowers from an unknown origin, would you rather allow the government to experiment on you or not allow the government to experiment on you? I don't want the government to experiment on me. What if I get, like, trapped in the government and I'm not allowed to leave or do anything? No way! Why? I mean, I suppose maybe for the greater good, everybody everybody else can get superpowers, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> that sounds so selfish. I'm sorry. I care about the rest of the human race. I do, but I don't want to be experimented on. Um, I don't have these restaurants in my country, so we're not going to do that. Uh, uh, this one's pretty stupid, but eat a pear, by the way. Pears are best. No, not apples. Would you rather be stabbed in the stomach ten times or be shot on both kneecaps? Oh! <laughs> Can I survive a stomach stabbing? <laughs> a question I never thought I would ask. Can I survive it? I think I can. Oh, but if I get shot on both kneecaps, and they may never heal. Okay, we're gonna go stomach stabbing, because I think... Ooh, that's pretty close. I wanna walk, still? I don't know if I can survive ten stomach stabbings, but whatever. Would you rather watch only dramas for the rest of your life, watch only comedies for the rest of your life? Comedies, for sure. I love comedies. I also actually really like dramas. You know, the typical plot line of where your character is so dramatic and tragic backstory, and then they die, and then they save someone. Oh, extremely dramatic, and it's great. But comedies, I love laughing so much. It's gonna go for comedies. Yeah, see? Would you rather vacation? Why? What's with Tokyo? But between these two, I'd probably go to New York City, because it looks really cool. And, I don't know. Something about the big buildings and the big kind of city draws me, because I'm gonna live in sort of a small town. Um, so, that just sounds amazing. Oh, very close. Also, I speak English. Would you rather spend one night spent passionately with Rosie O'Donnell, emphasis on the passionately, or have two front teeth pulled out? Oh, um, Rosie O'Donnell? Yeah, she can't be that bad, right? Would you rather eat all your meals where the food is freezing cold, or eat all your meals with five tablespoons of salt poured on it? Jesus, ew, both are so gross. Uh, but I can't eat salt all the time. No, I'm gonna have to go freezing. Yeah, I can't eat that much salt. I just my mouth would always be salty. That'd be the worst. Would you rather chill with Eminem or chill with Jay Z? Oh, chill with Eminem. I don't know. He seems like a, I feel like he could pass on some good wisdom. Not that Jay Z couldn't, but I don't know. I just plus I liked Eminem music uh, when I was like what 14ish. I used to really be into him. So yeah, Eminem. No offense. Would you rather be Zeus or be Poseidon? Well, Zeus is the king of like all the gods and stuff, but I really like the sea. I'm gonna be Zeus because I'd hate to be that brother of Zeus. That's literally the people know you as, the brother of Zeus. Yeah, there you go. 
Would you rather fight a wolf with your bare hands or fight a large bear with a sword? Fight a large bear with a sword? What? A wolf is pretty big. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're pretty massive. So fighting a large bear with a sword, at least I have a fighting chance here. Yeah, who the hell chose the wolf? Would you rather go back in time and correct the single biggest mistake of my life? Or go way back in time and come up with the Pythagorean theorem? Pythagorean theorem. I had no idea how to say that. Before Pythagoras, so you can have an equation in. Are you kidding me? S sing. Oh, okay. Time travel is a weird thing. I recently watched the new Alice in Wonderland movie, and time travel is weird. And it is harmful, and I don't really want to go back in time. It's, it's too messed up. Because if I if I went back and corrected the single biggest mistake of my life, I could change something dramatically, and I may not be here today. I don't know where I could be. So I can't risk that, but... Okay, so I'm going to have to choose the Pythagoras thing. But not because I want an equation named after me, it's just I don't want to muck up my life right now. Damn, that was big. Three quarters of you guys want to change your life mistakes? You learn from your mistakes. That's what makes you you. If you change them, you wouldn't be you anymore. Would you rather only wear revealing hot pink clothes or always wear socks with sandals? Okay. <laughs> Who came up with this question? I, okay. I have a very big distaste, like much of the internet, for socks and sandals. But if I only wear revealing hot pink clothes, I can't go to any, like, primary schools or anything. So I'm gonna have to go with socks and sandals. Yeah! Jesus. Ugh. But I, I just, I just taste it a lot. If I see someone wearing them, I'm not coming to talk to you. <laughs> if you were hit by a car, would you rather have locked in syndrome with no cure in sight, die right when the car hits you? Oh, that's a dark one, man. I'm gonna have to go with locked in so What is, wait, go back. What is it? What is locked in syndrome? Not be able to speak or move, only be able to blink. Honestly, I'd rather die right there. Oh man, that's such a terrible one. Yeah, Jesus. That's a sad one. Okay, last one. Would you rather be attractive or get punched in the face every morning? <laughs> Ow! Or be ugly? Be ugly, for sure. I don't want to get punched in the face every morning. Are you kidding me? Whoa, you guys are some... <laughs> There's a bit of narcissism I feel here. Damn, I don't want to be punched in the face every day. God, okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you guys with this one. Would you rather have stretchable legs or stretchable arms? You tell me. Be Mr. Fantastic. Anyway, so that's gonna be it for this episode. If you liked it, don't forget to like the button down below and subscribe and tweet me, comment, etc., etc. And I'll see all you guys in the next episode, hopefully. Bye! Three times in the soup. Aw, oh, you said you're